Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add PayPal Payment Gateway in WordPress without WooCommerce. The first thing you want to do is open PayPal. So once on your PayPal account, I want you to go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on the settings cog. The seller tools in the top right hand corner. After tapping on seller tools, you're going to scroll down and you're going to select PayPal buttons. After selecting PayPal buttons, from here you can see numerous options that you can select from. So for example, if it is a case that you would like to create donation, you can select donate. You can also choose to add the add to cart button or we're going to be using the buy now button for this example. So we'll tap on buy now. After you have selected buy now, from here you can enter the product name and you can also enter the product price. You can also select the currency that you would like to use. Once you have done that, you can select the button size, whether you like to use the small button or a large button. You can also edit the button text, whether it is buy now or pay now. And you can scroll down and from there you can also choose if you would like to add a message box which would allow customers to make special requests, for example, if you offer customization or so on. And also, if you would like to offer optional tracking, you can do that by selecting track in inventory or so on, as you can see right there. And you can also tap on optional settings. With optional settings, for example, if you're planning to sell a digital product, what I would recommend you do is paste in the product link right here. So for example, you could upload your digital product onto Google Drive and whenever a customer goes onto your WordPress website and completes their purchase on PayPal, they'll be automatically redirected to that page. So you could enter in your Google Drive link right here and once they complete the purchase, they'll be redirected to that page and you can also select a page that you would like to redirect them to whenever their checkout has been cancelled. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on save and create button. After selecting save and create button, from here you can tap on copy code. After copying the code, if we were to go back into WordPress and select all, or better yet select add a new post from the left hand menu option. Once on our post page, all you would need to do now is tap on the plus right here. After you have selected the plus, you'll select custom HTML and then you can paste in your HTML code. After doing that, if we were to tap on preview, you can see right there, the button has now been added. So you could add this button behind below any product. And once someone goes onto your WordPress website and completes a purchase, they'll be redirected to that particular product or page. And you can also go back into PayPal and you could select email link. After selecting email link, you could copy this code. And then from there, you could add this code to images or you could add it to text to make it clickable. For example, if I were to go back into WordPress right here, and then let's say, for example, I were to tap on add block. After doing that, if I were to select to upload an image, let me do that real quick. <clears throat> let's say for example this image after selecting the image from here I can simply tap on select then to make the image clickable I would simply select the image then tap on the link icon and I could paste in the link right here now after adding this link if someone were to go onto my website and tap on the link they'll be redirected to the PayPal page and you can do the same thing with text also if you want so for example, I could select paragraph right here and I could just type in a text. Then you could select the text, then tap on the link icon and paste in the link right here. So now whenever someone goes onto your website and taps on this link, they'll be redirected to your PayPal account. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button.